Kimver Edge and the Rock Houses, sweeping views, a wildlife haven in the heath and unique homes carved straight from rock. Kimver Edge is full of surprises. The holy Austin Rock Houses are cosily restored so you can soak up the atmosphere of these unusual homes. Get comfortable by the fire and our volunteers will tell you tales of the people that lived right inside the rock. Traditional toy toys for the children and a tea room with an unbeatable view. No, looks like you have to book to get in. Pre-book tickets only. Yes, as suspected. Can't get in, tickets only, and the nearest ticket is at 2.30 tomorrow. And ideally I want to be going home and see my family then. So sorry people, we'll have to do it another time. Can go and see Kimbridge though. Squash toadstool. Oh, it's a toadstool massacre. This is the view from the hill fort at the top. Righty ho, let's get some bearings shall we? London is out that way, so that's kind of my direction. And Cotswold Hills, that's also sort of in that direction. And then, and then, okay, the Malvern Hills are behind there, that's where I was last weekend, on the top of that hill. That's over there somewhere. So that hill over there must be Brownclee Hills, maybe. I think it must be the Brownclee Hills over there. And Scotland is that way. I think it's safe to say my inner compass is well out because I could have sworn that was the Mulvans over there. Oh, I can see them now. Okay, they're bigger. They're over there. But yes, those things are really helpful because I wouldn't have any idea where I was. I'm gutted I can't show you those houses though, but that's just the way things are. Technically, I could book a ticket for tomorrow, but if it was in the morning, I definitely would. But half two, I want to be home or heading home so we'll do it another time There's some lovely trails around here, even if you can't get to the uh, to the houses, you know, even if you haven't booked a ticket for the houses, then uh, it's still a nice woodland walk. Quite hilly though. It's all lined with this sandstone. The moss growing on it but underneath it's all sandstone let's go find nanny's rock apparently it has a cave and it's uh somewhere that people lived i think I think we have to wind our way down. Oops, slippy in the middle.
It's like walking on a beach. I have sand in my shoes. Sand on the top of a hill, far away from the beach. That up there looks like a sheer rock face behind those trees. Back up to the top. I think I might have found Nanny's Rock. Let's go have a look. There's a few people there. couldn't see the houses but this was worth the hike anyway Ooh. there's a wasp or a bee does that mean there is a nest I think it's a masonry bee it's very big you can see where the channels of water have over the years etched pulled and etched steps and channels down to the lowest point in here. Hello Robin. They were pretty amazing, I have to say. I'll find some uh, info about them and share it with you. And I'll put this together later. I am feeling a bit hot and bothered now, a little bit sticky. I had to take this off. And I think I'm part near an ice cream van, so I feel an ice cream might be a good reward for all my hard efforts to get to the, to the rocks and the caves. Hoping you won't notice, but I'm walking the adder's back. Hope he doesn't turn around and bite me. I 
I did it. That's what you call an ice cream. Look at that. It's already dripping all over me. <laughs>